maintenant, nous sommes à Miami et euh, je m'apprête à aller rencontrer euh, un ashram qui est très, 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 très connu. Donc, euh, on va, vous allez me suivre. Je ne sais pas si je vais être capable de rencontrer la personne que je veux rencontrer, mais euh, c'est ce la, la surprise que je vous réserve. Donc, venez vous en, on s'en vient. Euh, écoutez, ce qu'on dit de ce, de ce Swami-là, c'est euh, euh, tout simplement que... Il est arrivé ici en 1965. C'est un des anciens élèves de Swami Shivananda, Sarasvati, le grand Swami euh, qu'on connaît beaucoup au Québec, euh, en France aussi un peu. Et donc, je vous invite à aller à son ashram, ici même en Miami. On y va! And then you stop. Écoutez, là, je suis en train de courir parce qu'il faut que je trouve un taxi. J'ai pas de rendez-vous avec lui. Mais ce que je sais, c'est qu'il donne un cours de méditation à 7h30. Et là, aux dernières nouvelles, j'ai regardé l'heure et c'est dans 20 minutes. Alors, on y va! Alright, cheers. Now, alright, so we have a cat. We have a cat. Where are we going to? We're going to. Uh, cheers, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah, man. Thanks. Alors, euh, on est rendu et on va rencontrer Swamiji. Bonjour, Swamiji. It's such, a, such a, an honor to meet with you, Swamiji. Um, I was explaining to Mrs. Uh, Arjuna that I have been doing a documentary on yoga and that in Quebec, the influence of the ashram of um, uh, Shivananda is very strong. And on the other hand, your influence on yoga for many, many teachers has been about this book. Mm -hmm. Many, many yoga teachers are using some of the writings that you have learned directly from uh, Shivananda Sarasvatsi. And I wanted to ask you, uh, uh, Swamiji, uh, what made you decide to come to America in 1964, 65? I don't have my sheet with me. Oh, here it is. In 1969, you moved from Puerto Rico and you came here. Mm -hmm. First I came to Puerto Rico. And uh, I was there for seven years. And then I came here. Mm -hmm. What decided? What type of answer? The thing is, we, we move by God's plan. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And of course, you were doing that. Suppose someone were to ask, what decided? What, what made you come to your family? <laughs> <laughs> Your influence on integral yoga, mm -hmm. which combines raja, bhakti, devotion, jhana, mm -hmm. the knowledge of that you have brought to yoga mm -hmm. in North America, and of course of the, also a a good, bit yes, to have a good balanced view. Yoga is an all aspected movement to the goal, and your personality has four aspects: action, physical that relates to karma yoga. Emotion, that relates to bhakti yoga. What to do with the heart? How to lead your emotion in a way that it becomes uplifting? And that similarly will, that constantly allows you to control your mind. That relates to raj yoga. How to control the mind and allow it to come under the guidance of pure reason purified reason. And then comes Jnana Yoga, which that focuses on the intellect aspect, which is the highest in a human being. It is the intellect that ultimately gives you your inclinations, your, your deep-rooted movement is determined by your intellect. So when we talk of understanding, Oh God, give understanding to people. It implies allow their intellect to become free of impurities, free of defects. The of vritis. all mm -hmm. the vritis. 
the variations, the movements. Those vrittis come into the realm of mind, general mind, all mind, mental functions are in the form of thought waves. What about Shidakashanarana? Shidakash? Shidakash refers to pure awareness. If you are referring to Avarana, Avarana refers to Vail. So deep down you are pure awareness. But there is a veil of ignorance that doesn't allow you to be what you are essentially. Say for example, you go into deep sleep. You go beyond your ego, beyond your intellect. And their time is not there. But you come back again, suppose if your mind were enlightened, you see, you will attain a state which is a positive counterpart of deep sleep, positive counter, implying that you could be talking, doing your things, and yet you are above your ego. This is more than yoga nidra. This is much more. This is the goal. Yoga Nidra is a very of means. It's a vehicle. It's a, it's a way. Different means. But that's the goal of integral yoga. When you begin to practice yoga in all the four aspects, first to understand there is no way one can practice one-sided yoga. In order to f do best in your action aspect, your heart has to be good. <coughs> your will has to be strong. The reasoning has to be clear. All four have to integrate always. So okay. the koshas mm -hmm. all come and are in balance. The koshas are being put to use. Koshas are five sheaths. Your physical body, the vital layer, and mind and senses, intellect and ego. <coughs> <coughs> and deep and beyond that is a level of, layer of ignorance. All these are called sheaths. They are put into three, two, three groups, <coughs> or three bodies: physical, physical body, and there is subtle body. Subtle body contains three layers: pranas, <coughs> mind and senses, intellect and ego. And then there is a causal. And beyond Actually, all this is your innermost self. Thank you very much, <laughs> Swamiji. Thank you very, very much. You've been very generous okay. under the circumstances. Alors, euh, <laughs> mission accomplie. J'ai réussi. J'ai réussi à vous avoir cette entrevue que vous allez voir bientôt. J'ai rencontré Swamiji. Il y a des photos qui vont, qui vont circuler. Vous allez les voir. Et puis aussi, je m'étais dit, hein, comme, euh, comme euh, je voulais absolument venir ici pour rencontrer ce, ce maître qui a étudié avec euh, Swami Sivananda Sarasvati, je voulais aussi vous écrire une lettre. Alors, voici. J'ai réussi. Elle est terminée. C'est une lettre que je vais vous envoyer. C'est pas tout le monde qui va recevoir ces lettres-là. J'en ai six pour en tout. Je vous envoie cette lettre-là. Vous allez la recevoir. J'espère avoir de vos nouvelles. Et je vous dis à bientôt, à la prochaine, parce que c'est pas terminé. Je vais rencontrer quelqu'un d'autre, mais je vous en parle plus tard. Salut, namasté, à la prochaine. Alors, euh, me voilà sur le chemin du retour. Euh, J'espère que vous allez aimer l'entrevue que j'ai euh, capturée pour vous. C'est une mission accomplie pour moi. Et puis, euh, ben, oui, on a toujours hâte de revenir chez soi et de faire découvrir aux autres ce qu'on a découvert nous-mêmes. Salut!